So our music bed is in place. Our voiceover track is slid over to the right just a little bit to let the music come in first. Now let's listen to the entire commercial. You wouldn't use a locksmith you don't trust. So why would you ever consider a doctor you're unsure of? Your health is too important. That's why the doctors of Yukon Medical Health Center are some of the most specialized in the country. They are dedicated to giving you the best care possible so you stay feeling good. For the hospital or medical center nearest you, call 1-800-HEALTHCARE. So the first thing you should notice is that the music bed is really loud compared to my voice and I'm getting kind of drowned out. It's always a good idea, especially in commercial production where you have clients that are paying for airtime, uh, to make sure that the uh, announcer is always heard. You never want your voice to be drowned out by the music. Um, so we need to do some mixing. And I'm gonna show you a, a couple of different ways that we can actually adjust the volume. Now, assuming you've recorded your voiceover at an appropriate level, that minus nine to minus three, uh, we don't really need to make any adjustments to that. So instead of increasing the voice level, what we're gonna do is decrease the music bed level. And again, the first way that we can do that is here in the track properties window with our volume control. And when I'm mixing, I like to listen to the audio as I'm making the adjustments. So I'll hit space bar to stop, uh, start, and then I'll make the volume adjustments here in the track properties window. You wouldn't use a locksmith you don't trust. So why would you ever consider a doctor you're unsure of? Your health is too important. That's why the doctors of Yukon Medical Health Center are some of the most specialized in the country. They are dedicated to giving you the best care possible so you stay feeling good. For the hospital or medical center nearest you, call 1-800-HEALTHCARE. So now my voice is much more prominent. And one of the th quick thing that I wanna show you is that every track has its own VU meter. So if we look at this now, you, wouldn't you can see that my voice level's up here so and the music level's down there. Doctor, That's another way that you can check your, your mix. Is too but really what you want to use more than anything else is your ears. You know, if, if it doesn't sound right to you in your ears, no matter what the meters say, it's not right. So always trust your ears in this case. Uh, but you can use the meters as a reference. Now that's one way to make a uh, volume change. Let me show you another way real quick. I'll go back to zero here in the track properties window. The next way is to right click on the music bed and go to clip properties right here. And this will open up this little window that will enable you to label your file. In this case, it's already labeled music bed, so that's cool. Uh, you can adjust pan and volume and you can even change the clip color. So if it's a pretty hefty production, you, know, you may wanna make all of your sound effects, whatever color that is, <laughs> make your voiceover green. Uh, and just kind of keep track of your files that way. Uh, it's just a little added bonus. But what we want to discuss right now is adjusting volume. So here on the left is your volume slider. And just like what we did before, play the uh, commercial. You wouldn't use a locksmith right you click, don't trust. Clip so properties. Why would you ever consider a doctor you're unsure of? Your health is And now we can important. raise or lower That's the volume. That's why the doctors of Yukon Medical music Health Center are some of the most specialized in the country. They're dedicated to giving you the best care possible so you stay feeling good. For the hospital or medical center nearest you. And there's one final thing that I want to show you. If you look at the music bed waveform, you can see that it kind of steadily gets a little bit louder and louder as it goes along. So here it's relatively quiet, then the drums sort of kick in, and then the rest of the band kicks in right here. So it's progressively getting louder. So the volume level here is fine, but towards the end it starts to drown out my voice a little bit. So what I want to do is take the volume down a notch. And if you look very closely at the top, there's this little line right at the top of the clip. And you'll notice when I rest my cursor over it, I get that hand icon. This will enable me to make points on this volume line and then drag down the line to decrease the volume just in this one section. So I'll show it to you and then I'll kind of explain a little bit more. So I'm gonna make a point here, a point just to the right of that, and then a point at the end of where I want that volume change to occur, two points actually. And then I'm gonna drag down the two middle points and it actually shows you how many dB you're lowering it by. So we'll bring it down about three, bring this one down about three, and you'll see if I solo out the music bed, it gets progressively quieter in that section. 
Now, a couple tips on that. You don't want to ever have the line be vertical. You always want to have a little bit of a gradual slope so that it slowly fades down as opposed to being volume, 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 dump all the way down to the bottom. And it's going to make a noticeable clip. Um, and then also, same thing at the end too. You want it to fade back up slowly. So keep that in mind. To get rid of the points, just left click on one of the clips and drag all the way down to the bottom and it'll snap back like a rubber band and get rid of those clip, uh, those points for you.